keep uh, bringing our viewers uh, these reports from several parts of the country. The mood is amply clear, Niranjan. There is excitement. Uh, everyone is anticipating what it's going to be like. Uh, those first pictures coming in as will be recorded by the lander. And, uh, you know, again, Niranjan, very important to talk about uh, the criticality of the final stage, yeah. the descent. So as Isro puts it through this latest tweet that uh, the descent will begin at 5.44 p.m. And then at 6.04 p.m. it will make that landing. Yeah. Those 15 to 20 minutes of terror is how they term it. But yeah. what are the stages of descent going to be like? Yeah, you know, we have a graphic. We've, uh, we've recreated what uh, Mr. Somnath, uh, the ISRO chairperson, also demonstrated on how it's going to happen. So if I have that uh, graphic in front of me on the screen, let me tell you. Uh, so they've been lowering the orbit. They've been lowering the orbit, lowering the orbit. And uh, eventually it will be starting 544 at, at uh, a height of about 30 kilometers. That's... It will be 30 kilometers above the surface of the moon and that, was, that will begin the rough braking system. The rough braking phase will kick in, that's starting 544. So from 30 kilometers, it comes down to 7.4 kilometers, roughly 7.4 kilometers. And it's 7.4 kilometers when it comes from 30 to 7.4, the next phase. And remember, all of this is happening, it's, it's moving horizontally. It's not vertical like it's supposed to land, it's moving horizontally in the orbit. Uh, comes from 30 kilometers to 7.4 kilometers and at that phase it's called a attitude uh, altitude hold phase so it holds the altitude from 7.4 6.8 so it's basically steadying itself and then the third phase is called the fine breaking phase as explained by the scientists at isro the fine breaking phase what it essentially does is from a horizontal to a vertical position is achieved between 6.8 kilometers to 1 kilometer, 1.3 kilometers. And at, till this time, in the three phases, uh, it would have traveled at least about 745 kilometers. And the last phase is called the terminal descent phase. And the terminal descent phase, so from traveling at 1.7 kilometers per second, it would have, after the braking and holding the altitude and the fine braking eventually comes to the terminal descent phase and that will be at a speed of two meters per second that's what they want to achieve two meters per second and then it lands softly on the surface of the moon so that's how complicated it is and uh, uh, this is where of course a chandrayaan 2 uh, face challenges and uh, either way whatever happens whatever happens to asia it will land it will land and all eyes are on that landing and, and, and let me tell you most scientists that we have been speaking to are talking about the success of the soft landing when it happens in itself will be a study for not just future generations in India but across the world everyone's watching out for that on that note taking a short break here on